Good evening, teacher. Good Hello, evening, good teacher. evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, thank you. Excellent. Fine, thank you. guys. I didn't realize, oh, I had not realized, no me había dado cuenta. Eh, give me one second. <clears throat> How was your weekend? How was your vacation? All good? How was your vacation? Good. All was good. All right, my vacation was good. What did you do on vacations? I worked and I stay home and I went to Okay, <clears throat> you stayed at home. What else did you do? Uh, because I didn't hear it well. I just, uh, I had it just a day off. It was last Friday. All week I, I worked. Yeah. So you only worked and you just have a day off that was on uh, on Friday. Yes. Oh, that's so bad. I'm sorry yeah. to hear that, Sumara. I actually yeah. rested all the week, casi toda la semana. <clears throat> I didn't work. I didn't work. But I actually helped my mom. She has like a small restaurant, so I help her. Um doing some work in the restaurant so i worked digamos que dos días but wow. it was good actually i felt long la sentí larga mm -hmm. and i actually was like thinking that yesterday was monday yo pensé que ayer ya me tocaba la clase y ahí yo así como <laughs> ay la clase i was like excited ya está preparando la clase y no vea era domingo mm -hmm. yo oh my god one more day todavía otro día Hmm. Yeah, sí, abundó, okay. It was good. It was abundant. I really enjoyed it. I spent it with my daughter. We went to uh, some pools, unas piscinitas por ahí, and she enjoyed a lot. Sí, creo que lo disfrutó, and I did it as well. What about you, Marlene? What did you do for your vacation? I enjoy to staying home with my family, just see movies, see the, a lot of movies. <laughs> okay. And that's it. I didn't go in another place, just in my house. Just You just stayed at home as well. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. But you didn't work, right? No. You rested. Porque sí trabaja yeah. todos los días. Yeah. Okay. Elena, how are you? Why so serious? Qué seriedad. Come on, come on. Bueno, teacher. Todavía tenía vacaciones, dice. Yes. I need more. <laughs> <laughs> you needed more. What did you do for vacations? Um, I only... Uh, in the house and I was in the house I stayed I was, in my house okay, I spent I... in my house and, Pasé, uh, spent quedarse, spent? stay was est yo estuve oh. son tres cosas diferentes oh. quedé, estuve y la mm. otra oh, pasé, I spent in my house ok Nice. Nothing else. What about Gisela? A Gisela sí la veo que sí la sacaron un ratito de vacación porque mucho estudia, dicen. No la sacaron porque ya no está estudiando como antes, quizás Gisela. Ajá. What happened? Stayed... What did you do? What did you do on, on holidays? I stayed in my house. Uh -huh. I only watched Serious? Serious. Serious. On which uh, application? Netflix? 
<clears throat> Disney Plus. No. <laughs> regular cable. Cable and regular. No. Um, DVD. <laughs> Oh, oh, solo en el cine, pues, ay, no, vea, solo Cinépolis. Uh -oh. I don't went. No, I, I didn't go. I didn't go. Very good, okay. Okay, so you spent at home watching series, okay? Yeah. And uh, I was going to say something, but I need to ask Carla. A todos les quiero preguntar. How was vacations? What did you do? Uh, did you rest? Were you able to rest? Oiga el otro verbo que ocupo. Were you able to rest? Yes, I rest. Rested. In vacation, I, I rested. In vacation, okay. I went to the beach with my family. Ah. What else? What else? So I spend time with my parents in law oh. because they live there in the beach. Really? Uh, yes. That is nice. It's great. Which part is this that in San uh, in La? La Libertad or where? Uh, that place is in um, Sonsonate, La Barra de Santiago. Oh my God, Barra de Santiago. I'm not sure if I know, no sé si conozco, but I have heard very, very good. Um, comments about it. Yes. Okay, good reviews, como dicen los, los youtubers, ¿verdad? good reviews de esa, de esa playa. <clears throat> All right, what about you, Rebecca? What did you do for vacations? I did, uh, well, my week was normal because uh -huh. my work, in my work, I work one week and I rest one week and, and, the last week was my was my rest. Your your week off. Your week off. Wait, my my week off. And all being normal. It was normal. It was regular. So you didn't go out. You didn't go to the beach. No, because. It, it's my regular week. Uh, I do my things in my in my home. Um, I care my pets. All the same yeah. thing. And rain right now. Are you at your work or no? Tomorrow, okay. I I'm gonna. Uh, I'm You're gonna uh, work tomorrow okay hey thank you rebecca what about ada what did you do on vacations remember guys my question is because i need to hear the verbs in past remember i was i stayed i uh i didn't do much i went or i um did this etc visited met conocer etc what about you, Ada? I visited my family in Chalacanán. I slept. Slept a lot. Solo durmió. Slept. Okay. Ana, Marleni, are you there? Quiero que enciendan la cámara, please. Hello, Hector, how are you? How was your vacation? ¿Qué tal la vacación? Hey, Great. Uh, funny. Very funny. 
Sí, Fanny sí. sería chistoso, en todo caso podríamos decir fan, it was fun, como que fue muy divertida, ¿verdad? Divertida, no oh. lo mismo, no es, Fanny es cuando es algo muy gracioso, entonces it was fun, como que muy, muy bonita, ¿ok? It was fun. It was. What did you do? I, I, I went to the, 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 the metro centro to eat a food. Okay, My you family. went to the mall with the family. Okay, anywhere else? Algún otro lado? No, uh, no, only, only that. All right. What about Claudia? Where did you go? Enjoy the holiday with your family. We went to a burrito ranch. A bit, a bit okay. Good, good, good. Anna Marleni, what about you? Good night. Hi. Um, I visited uh, my grandmother. You visited your grandmother, okay? And um, I. I went to the beach. Which beach? We beach. Why? Um, eh, salinitas. Oh, salinitas. Salinitas. By the camera. Yes. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> And the camera. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> all you can eat, all you can drink. Hey, good yeah. job, guys. Vaya, ojalá que todos los que, es, que, que no se hayan presentado a la clase es porque sigan de vacation, vea, o tengan algo otro problema y que hayan sobrevivido. Okay, I hope they have survived. What is the lesson? Or the section number five about. ¿De qué se trata, guys? Vamos a ver si ya escuch escucharon un uh, poquito. Sure. I don't want to be in the... Yes, it's about... Well, we're going to do a listening because we need to do a listening activity. Esto es para escuchar. Y justamente estaban planeando qué se iba a hacer para las, el fin de semana. Vea. Veamos por qué. Este es lo que hicimos en pasado, pero ahorita vamos a ver cómo se habla en el futuro. Vamos a ver los will y going to para hablar del futuro. What is the lesson about the objective? Espérenme, no es esta. Aquí estamos. Going to places. Going places. <clears throat> Lesson objective. Oh, yo sí, para que lean bastante, entre dos la vamos a hacer, ¿ok? Who wants to read? <clears throat> Me too. Okay. Go. The future tense is what we use to discuss our plans or hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert statements to the future tense. English teach Joe Sanchez, science explain these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple formula. Yeah, thank As you, a simple formula. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, come on guys, who wants to continue reading? Me. 
Sure, go Marlene. And ask and answer question using going to and will as auxiliary verbs and practice your discussing your future plans. Um, your future plans, for example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family, or even your plans for later in the day. Later? Later. 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 ¿Cómo se dice le letter? Es la carta. Ah, uh, later. This is letter. This is later. later. Yeah, later. Okay. Thank you. All right. Using questions using going to. ¿Cuáles son los auxiliares que vamos a ver entonces, guys? Going to and will. Going to and will. Uh -huh. Pero hay que escuchar este video para que no lo vamos a ver todo porque dura 10, no, 9 minutos. Así que solo vamos a ver el inicio para que escuchemos los planes y ustedes me digan qué planes escucharon que va a tener las personas en la conversación. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. Can you hear guys? For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this All right, guys. What we want to do in this This is not is really, really important to watch in the class because you can watch it many, many times in your house whenever you have the chance. Eso lo pueden escuchar ustedes porque si no, no lo terminamos nunca. Miren cuánto dura, nine minutes, All right? So, eso es lo que les voy a explicar simplemente con ejemplos de cuando usar un going to. Now, I have questions. What is the conversation about? The plans for our vacation. All right. The, the, the conversation is about the plans that they, that, that they have for vacations. Okay. What else? <clears throat> what are they planning to do? Stay home. Watch movies. Mm, one of the girls. Mm -hmm. One and of the girls. One of the girls say that she going to stay home. She is going to stay at home. She is going to stay at home and watch movies. And the other girl say that is going to go to the beach and going to surfing. I guess. Thank you, Marlene. What about the rest? What else can you tell me, guys?
the husband girls is fishing in the beach. Oh, okay. So the the woman's husband is going to fish, right? Is going to fish at the beach. Okay. Let's see. Who is who is going to go to the beach? Who is the lady going to the beach with? Who is the lady? La que va a ir obviamente a la playa, ¿verdad? Porque una dice que no. But at the end, are they going together? Are they going to go together? Okay, listen again, please, ponga atención. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing quiero, your future plans. Quiero, si escuchan, ¿verdad? Vaya, quiero que me den oraciones con, con will y con going to, ¿ok? Lo que ustedes me van a contar es lo que ellas están hablando. Lo voy a decir en tercera persona, ¿verdad? Ejemplo, lo que Mar Marlene me dijo, oh, one of the girls is going to stay at home. Una está planeando, is planning to stay at home. Um, but the other is going to travel or to go to the beach. No dijo así, dijo de otra forma. Pongan atención para que escuchen los detalles. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call them tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this truck. Okay. <clears throat> now, more questions, guys. Bye. Otra vez. <clears throat> questions, questions. What uh what is the plan for the second lady? Ya dijimos que la primera stay at home, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? what else is she going to do or is she planning to do? Stay at home or what else? Watch movie with your friends. Ah, watch movies or hang out. Dijo la palabra era hang out, salir con sus amigos o ver películas. Hang out with his with her friends. Okay, so she is. She's going to hang out with your friends. With her friends. With her friends. Okay. With her friends. Espérenme que se me perdieron mis, mis apuntes. 
Aquí está. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, what are they going to do at the beach, guys? She is going to surfing. Go surfing. Go surfing. Uh -huh. She's going to go surfing. Como ir de ir, ir, a, ir, a, ir a surfear es go surfing. She is going to go surfing. Going to go surfing. Verbo. Después de going to, el verbo principal. Go surfing. ¿Qué más, guys? Her cousin is going to fishing. P go fishing. Go fishing. Uh -huh. And she is going to stay in, in his uncle beach. Ah, I guess. Very good. <clears throat> yeah. In his uncle, aunts and uncles, uh, like um, the beach house, uh huh, at the beach house. And why is the other lady very happy? She's excited to sleep. Oh, because she is, she's going to sleep, right? They are not, but why? Because they are leaving at what time? <clears throat> what time are they going to leave? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Complétenme las, res, las respuestas, Marlene. <laughs> Dejo, por lo menos deje que las demás me contesten también con estructura. Yo sé que usted la respuesta la tiene, pero lo que quiero es que me diga, they are going to go. She is happy because she is going to sleep. Okay? ¿Ok? Una estructura más larga. ¿Ok? Porque nosotros no solo contestamos así con palabritas, sino que con nos contestamos generalmente eh, solo preguntas, sino que hablamos, nos expresamos. Y entonces necesito completa la estructura y que todos los, los demás participen, ¿verdad? Porque no solo Marlene está en la clase. Thank you, Marlene. Ya ella ya sí. le dio todas las respuestas, guys. Ok, y los demás, bien, gracias. Ay, es que no lo entendí, teacher. Ajá. <coughs> Where are they going to stay? Where are they going to stay? Lo acabo de decir, Marlene. They are going to stay at home. If they go to the beach, ¿si ¿sí van a la playa? Um, they are going to go to the beach. Uh -huh. And they are going to stay. Where are they going to stay? Sí, en la playa, pero ¿en qué parte de la playa? They are uh, going to stay. They um, are. Por eso ven, por eso es que le digo completo. Porque uno me dice, they going, y se le olvida. They are going, ¿ok? O dice, she going. No, es she is going. Acuérdense que es el verbo to be. ¿Ok? I'm sorry to interrupt, Elena. Can you continue? And they are stayed. Uh, going. <coughs> Necesito la estructura del futuro, guys. Es going o are, porque antes había hecho eh, going y me dijo que are. Las dos Entonces cosas. Me are going to, miren, aquí está. Ah, okay, I so am okay. going to, going they to. are going to, she is going to. They are going to stay the uncle beach house. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. Ahí está. Miren, estructura, sujeto. Tenemos dos formas de hablar en futuro, ¿ok? 
una es con will y la otra es con el verbo be más going to. Ok, por eso no solamente decimos I going to, she going to, they going to. Decimos el verbo. Ok, conjuguemos el verbo. Las tres formas serían... <coughs> Ajá. Para que no se nos olvide, am... I'm going to... Is... Is going to... Y la otra... Are, are, are going, going to, to. Are going okay? to. Y después el verbo principal sin cambiarlo. ¿Sí? I con will, mucho más fácil. Solo digo, I will go. No decimos, I am going to go. ¿Ok? Más rápido. Pero con el going to, sí hay que cambiarlo. ¿Ok? Good. Eh, si esto es en afirmación. Veamos. How are they going to travel? How are they going to travel? No idea. They are going to travel with a by plane. By plane? Are they going to travel by plane? Are they going to travel by plane? Y esta es la forma de preguntar, ¿verdad? Aquí están en pregunta. Are they going to travel by plane? <clears throat> or how are they going to travel? Las dos formas me pueden responder. Yes o no, o no, o, de, o cómo van a viajar. By airplane, teacher. Airplane. airplane. Are you sure, guys? Yo que no escuché que dijera airplane. Vaya, la última parte es, they, es donde dice. They are going to travel in the bar. No, on by the ba bus. On the by bus. Plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. What time are they going to depart? Leave, go. Yeah. They, are going the Bien, yeah. they are going to, to travel at 5 a.m. Exactly. Okay? En That's bus. fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, and the lady is happy because they, she is going to sleep. Okay. Y ahora comienza el, el maestro Sanz. Con toda la estructura, ¿verdad? Del futuro, que hay dos formas. Pero, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre ambos? Why do we use will and sometimes we use going to? Hmm? When we use going when we are uh, what is going to do. And when what we is use going to happen? Uh -huh. we, yes, we don't, uh, we are not sure about if we uh, we do it or not all right we don't have the plan right we don't have the plan we are not a hundred percent sure so that is why we normally use will that is why we can see some um words our expressions like this uh i guess 
Maybe. ¿Qué otra cosa pueden decir cuando uno no está tan seguro? Mm, I suppose, I guess. Mm, I, think. I think. I think, I believe. Probably. Probably. Oh, possibly. Etcétera, ¿verdad? En ese caso, ahí lo que acaba de decir Xiomara, cuando uno no está con, completamente seguro de tomar la decisión. Eso, digamos, a grandes rasgos, like in very general explanation, ¿verdad? fácil. Uno no está segura, más viene siendo una predicción, ¿verdad? Cuando uno no sabe, no puede decir, no tiene su decisión hecha, pero sí con el going to yes. ¿Ok? What is the structure? <coughs> Going to plus the verb in the simple future, in the simple present. All right? Y el con, go, con will simplemente es sujeto, will y verbo. Ok? Lo mismo es going to, pero tiene que ponerle el be going to, este be. Ok? And then, what else? ¿Qué más? Aquí se los tengo en el Intermediate One. Vaya. <coughs> Tenemos la forma de hacer las afirmaciones. ¿Ya? Subject. Todo es el be going to. Son tres cosas en lugar de will. ¿Ok? No solo es she is to dance, no. Ni es solo she going to dance. O she is going dance, no. Las tres cosas tienen que ir juntas, ¿ok? Right. Very good. Vamos a ver, guys. What plans do you have for tomorrow? Veamos así rapidito. What are you going to do tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow I am going. Mi plan ya está. I am going to uh, uh, visit uh, like a park, a aquatic park, maybe. And I am going to travel with my family. I am going to eat. I am going to uh, come back before my classes because I will have my class or I am going to have my class at 8 p.m. After that, I am going to upload all the videos so my students can listen or watch the videos. And later, I am going to have something to eat And after that, I am going to watch some series. Before I am going to sleep, I am going to brush my teeth. And that's it. That's it. And clean my, my face, etc. ¿Cuántas cosas dije ahí? Uh, todo lo que tengo planeado del día. Así que ustedes me pueden decir planes desde el del día de mañana. What are you going to do? Elizabeth, Valle, Marlene, Elizabeth. Okay, for my for my all day. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, tomorrow I'm going to. How do you say llevar? I don't Ring, remember. Take. I am oh, going pick to pick up, pick up, llevar a alguien, pick llevar up. a su hija. Pick up my son to the school and then I'm going to to do the lunch. I guess going to cook chicken with potato. And after that, I'm going to pick up again to my son from school and doing some homework with him. And then prepare the dinner. At I am 7 going to prepare the dinner. I am going to prepare the dinner at 7 p.m., for example. And Vaya, then... otra vez prepare. Okay, ya ahí tenemos prepare. Go prepare. también o pick up, ya lo dijo. Return, mm -hmm. prepare, uh, have lunch. And finally. And finally, um... 
put the pajama for my little I am girl. going to put I am pajamas. Acordémonos uh -huh. de dar las estructuras largas, guys. Vaya. Uh, very good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Sorry to interrupt, but I need to... Don't I worry. need to say sorry because Anderson is going to work tonight. So he is going to stay up all night. Va a tener que trabajar y se va a tener que estar despierto todo el día. Dice. He is. Bye. Cuando yo digo I am, porque lo digo de mi parte, ¿verdad? Si estoy hablando de mi amigo o de Marlene, pues yo digo she is going. O I am going. O they are going. Todas. Toda, eh, todo depende de qué sujeto estoy hablando, ¿ok? Very good, guys. Esto tenemos las estructuras. Ya me dijo un montón, Marlene. Los demás, ¿qué pasó? Ah, pregúntele a alguien, Marlene, please. Puede ser con what are you going to do tomorrow? Or what time are you going to work? Or what time is the class going to start? Vaya, le vamos a poner preguntas aquí, miren, guys. Are they, pero si va con WH question, podemos poner what time, por ejemplo. What time, ¿a qué horas va a comenzar la clase? What time, <coughs> ayúdenme, help me. What time going to start the class? ¿Y el verbo? ¿El auxiliar? What time is... Is, what time, what time, what time what is time? going to start the class tomorrow? Very good. No. Is going to start the class? No. What time is going to start? No. What time is going to... What time is... What time is going to no. the class? Tampoco. Guys, vean la estructura. Por eso es que no, ustedes no... No arman bien la estructura porque no ven la, no ven la fórmula, guys. Solo lo the quieren class. ganar lo loco. What is, is the class, el class. sujeto? What time is the class? The class si va él? At 9 p.m. El verbo. What time is the class to start? Ajá. Imagínense lo que les digo. Si no le ponen el verbo to be, le quitan el going to. Si le ponen el going to, no me dicen el verbo principal. Come on, guys. Aquí está la What fórmula. What time is the classes is going, the going, class to, going, going to start? To start. To start. Muy bien. What time is the class going to start? ¿A qué hora va a comenzar la película? What time is the movie? Movie, muy bien. Going Thank you. to... Going to start. Going to start. Okay, very good. It's going to start at 9 p.m. Vaya. Good. Pregunte, Carla, haga otra preguntita. A quien sea de los de la clase. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. For uh, Gisela, uh, where, oh, where are you doing to go tomorrow? Otra vez, espéreme, where are you doing, me dijo. Where are you doing? Are you... Doing to go. Doing. Doing to go. Eh, going, going. Ah, Sorry. Go, going. Oigan, oigan. Doing to go. Hey, eso está, eso está más. Doing to go. Ah, miren, no. Es going to do. Ok. Ahí, ahí me to... leyó mal eh, mentalmente. Sería entonces going to do. To, 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 to go. Ok. To go. Where are you going to go? Tomorrow o cualquier otro día del futuro, ¿verdad? Next week. ¿Cuándo especialmente va? Porque ¿cuándo va a decir? Vea, puedo pre preguntar directamente. Next week. 
tomorrow, later, after the class, next month, for Christmas, cualquier cosa que sea futuro. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The next week, um, maybe I I I go I I go to the supermarket with my mom. Vaya, ahorita veamos solo going to. Otra vez? Ah, Entonces, sería I I'm go I'm gonna go to the supermarket with my mom. Okay. I'm gonna go. O sería así, I am going to go. Dos veces el go. O sea, el verbo es going to, pero el verbo principal es I'm going to go to the supermarket. Pregúntele a alguien más. Póngase cerca al micrófono que no se le oye. What are you going to do tomorrow, Elena? I'm going to study English. Okay. Question. Pregúntele a alguien más. Ada, Rebeca o Claudia. Este... Claudia, eh, what, eh, what are you, no, what are you going to next month? Vaya, vamos a ver, vamos a, vamos a regresarnos a las preguntas. Vamos a escribirlo. Repite, Elena. What, what you no, what you what, no perdón what are you what are you going to going to next month next month pero qué qué es lo que va a qué a hacer de, sé de ocupemos otro verbo que no sea tú este ya lo dijimos, vea. What are you going to do next month? Mm. What time is the movie going to start? Where are you going to go next week? Do next month. Ok, ya preguntamos con do y con go. Ocupemos otro. No sé, no se me ocurre otra pregunta para decirle a ella. ¿Cuántos verbos se puede, Elena? Mm, varios, pero varios. para ocuparlo en el futuro, para decirle a ella, realmente no. Pensemos. What are you going to, to make? Uh, mm -hmm. This night before the class. After the class, after. after the class, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll put you as it eat. What are you going to eat? Te vas a comer. Te vas a tomar. Next, what are you going to drink? Otro verbo podríamos poner, guys. Drink, eat. Aparte de do. Make. Play, watch, ¿verdad? Jugar, observar, ver. 
¿A quién le pregunta, Elena? ¿Qué estás yendo? ¿A Claudia? Sí. Claudia, are you going to answer? Vamos a ver. Me pregunta, ¿qué are you going to drink? Ya. Yeah. Um, Tonight, esta noche. Ah, ok. I, I go. Otra vez. I, I, I go to. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to go to drink. I'm going to go. ¿Cómo es, cómo es eso? <risa> I am to go to go. No, no, I am. I am going to drink uh -huh. eh, soda. Uh -huh. ¿Qué creen que la teacher va a hacer después de, de, de la clase? The teacher going to sleep. But before I am going to eat. Drink a coffee. Drink a coffee. Okay. The teacher is, acuérdense, guys. Sopa. Soda. Ask a question, Carla. Hágame pregunta. Um, what are you going to watch after the classes? Muy bien. What are you going to watch? Ocupemos otro que no sea what ahora, guys. ¿Cuántos who is tenemos? Going to visit? Uh, muy bien. Who is, who is, who is going to visit, to visit you tomorrow? Ok. I believe my sister is going to visit me tomorrow. Good example. Ok. Who's going to visit you tomorrow? Hey, nice. Another, guys. Vamos con otro. Todas las WH question que se les ocurra. No sé si está bien, pero when are you going to dance again? Oh, ok. ¿Cuándo vas a bailar de nuevo, verdad? When are you going to dance? El going to es lo mismo como gonna. Ok. Going to slash gonna. Obviamente, be, ¿verdad? El verbo to be tiene que ir ahí también. She is gonna. They are gonna. Ok. I am gonna. O oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Contractado. I am gonna. Gonna or going to? Teacher, I have one, but I I don't know if correct. If it's correct, tell me which one. Which color of dress going to use for Saturday night? Saturday Saturday night. It's perfect, but remember that we normally use where to talk about a dress, right? Where? Uh, El lugar where... de use. Which color of dress? Which, or color which dress, of dress color? Uh -huh. Going to wear for Saturday night. Veamos otra vez. Which dress color? Uh, which, uh -huh. which dress color going to wear? Uh -huh. Going to wear. ¿Quién? For... You. Going to wear you. ¿A dónde va ese? El you. Which dress color going to wear for Saturday? Vea, vea, vea la estructura, vea. Me le falta el sujeto y me le falta el verbo. Which dress color? 
which dress color ya, ya está? You, 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 no. Ajá, el you, pero no, tiene, no va ahí el you. Vamos, chicos, ayúdenos. Which dress color you going to wear? ¿Y el verbo cuál sería para el you? Going to wear. El no. you, ¿con cuál va? R. R. Are you? Are you? Vaya. Are you? Vaya. Entonces sería are you, are you going, going to wear for Saturday? For Saturday. Okay, next Saturday. No voy a anotar porque. Ya ve, ya ve. Mire, es que se les olvida el verbo to be y o se les olvida el sujeto, ¿verdad? Y a veces el going to. Así que las tres cosas tienen que ir ahí, ¿verdad? Ya ven que es fácil, ¿verdad? Pero ya cuando queremos armar las preguntitas, se nos olvida el orden, ¿ok? Así que sí, el orden es así, guys. ¿Ok? ¡Hey! Very good, guys. Acuérdense que de esos, de esos errorcitos que tenemos es cuando nosotros aprendemos más, ¿verdad? Vamos, any other question, guys? Siento que muy poquitas preguntas me han dado. How are you going to wear to the party? Okay. Can you repeat? How are you? How are you going to wear to the party next week? Ok, vaya, lo dejamos así entonces. How, ¿Cómo vas a estar vestida? How are you going to, dress, to wear? Normalmente sería, ¿qué vas a utilizar? ¿Qué te vas a poner? Sería, what are you going to wear at the, for the party? ¿Qué te vas a poner? <coughs> en todo caso sería así, ve. What, um, esta misma lo podríamos hacer, the same thing, pero con el... How, how are you going to, um, to dress? ¿Cómo vas a vestir? Ahí, ahí creo que podría ser más. Pero normalmente si pedimos, preguntamos qué es lo que te vas a poner, decimos what. ¿Ok? How are you going to dress? Or how are you going to look? ¿Cómo vas a lucir? How are you going to... Um, Yes, yes, yes. Ah, es que quería ver la diferencia entre el which. Uh, el get which closer, I cannot hear you. Entre which y what. Porque es que a veces tu duolingo me ponía sobre el which cuando se trataba de, 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 de ropa. Entonces no sabía. Tan linda, Gisela. Mira, lo mismo digo yo. ¿Por qué me sale a veces que está correcto y a veces no? Lo mismo en francés. Y no es la primera persona que dice, ¿y por qué which? Y a veces es what. Y los dos los toma correctos, pero de repente son correctos, pero como que en ese momento no se lo agarra. Sí, es algo loco. Pero el which, la diferencia, Gisela, es cuando tenemos eh, opciones, ¿verdad? Que tenemos variedad de cosas. Y por eso yo digo, hey, which color? Which is your favorite color? ¿Cuál es tu color favorito? O digamos que usted va a comprar un teléfono y, y le pregunta, oh, which one? ¿Cuál de todos de estos le llama la atención? El what es más que todo como más general, como más para eventos, cosas. Eh, como, hey, ¿qué pasa? What happened? Eh, uh, what is your name? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Ok, la traducción es cuál, pero el which es más utilizado cuando nosotros estamos dando opciones. ¿Sí? De ahí, what es como qué, simplemente, qué o cuál, pero which es bien específico para preguntar cuál de todos estos que tenemos, ¿verdad? De, en medio de una variedad. Good question, guys. <clears throat> Any other question? ¿Alguna otra que me quieran dar antes de irnos? Any other that you want to give me? Solo yo tenía una consulta en yes. uno de los ejemplos. Dígame, Elena, perdón que no veías su, su manita levantada. Tell me. En uno de los, de los ejemplos que dieron, solo quería como tener claro, ¿verdad? Porque veo que uh -huh. la estructura va a WS Question plus B, pero en esta decía wish, wish Dress Color. 
O sea, se puede poner otras palabras antes de poner el verbo. Después de which, sí, porque pues which qué, hey, ¿cuál libro? Which book? Eh, which cell phone? Uh -huh. Ahí sí. Lo que la, la WH question es cuál vestido, cuál color de vestido. De ahí continuamos con lo mismo. Is, are, o, o el verbo to be, sujeto going to wear. Vean. Okay. Aquí esta es una sola WH question. ¿Qué color de vestido? Which country are you going to visit? ¿Cuál país vas a visitar? Siempre que ocupamos which o podemos ocupar un nombre de algo. ¿Cuál computadora? ¿Cuál vestido? ¿Cuál, cuál es zapato? ¿Cuál es...? ¿Por qué tenemos opciones, verdad, para, para escoger? Por eso se dice, oh, I will... I am going to wear the black, the black dress. Voy a escoger el vestido, me voy a poner el vestido negro. Ok, gracias. Ok. Ya, yeah, ese which. Y el what también, por ejemplo. What color uh, are you going to wear? Okay. Ahí sería which color también. Bueno, mañana vemos eh, más ejemplos, guys. See you tomorrow and thank you for your questions. Gracias. Siempre anoten las preguntas cuando las tengan, por favor, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. I am going to see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Are you going, going to... to connect tomorrow? <laughs> <clears throat> What time are you going to connect tomorrow? Futuro. I am going to connect. I am What going time? to connect at 9 PM. Very good. On time. Very good. 